Speech recognition has been around for uh, uh, quite a long time now, um, but many of us remember uh, 10 years or so ago when we might have first tried it, that it was um, really, really inaccurate. And although it was a cool idea, it was actually a lot more frustrating than it was worth. However, today I'm going to be demoing for you Dragon Naturally Speaking version 12, so you can be the judge of how accurate speech recognition is today. So let's get speaking. Okay, so in this video, um, I'm just going to give you a quick demo of um, some of the features of Dragon Naturally Speaking um, version 12. Um, I've had it now for uh, two or three weeks, and it's one of those programs that learns with you. So you have to train it a little bit, and you have to work with it to kind of make it more accurate. And um, you can see the results of um, how accurate has be has become. Well, when I do some dictation for you now, so I'm going to wake it up. Wake up. Open WordPad, set font size 20. So this is my demonstration of dictation using Dragon Naturally Speaking, full stop. Like I said, I had to read to the program, comma, and do a little bit of training to get it to this level, full stop. But you will also notice, comma, that I'm not speaking slowly, comma, I'm not separating my words, comma, and I'm not making any effort to speak any differently to how I would normally, full stop. I hope, comma, just like me, you will be quite impressed with how accurate the program is, full stop. New line. The reason I decided to get this was because, hyphen, in real life, hyphen, I'm a teacher, comma, and I wanted to be able to give my pupils more feedback than I was currently in the same amount of time, full stop. I found using this program, comma, I'm able to get my thoughts down on the page a lot faster, which gives them a lot more feedback from what I want to say, full stop. There are, of course, a few issues where you have words that sound very similar to other words, full stop. Let's take the example of TO, comma, TOO, comma, and numeral 2, full stop. These words obviously do sound like 2, 2, and 2, full stop. But using the correct command, you can switch between which particular one you want when you need to, full stop. Correct 2. 14. Choose 1. I hope that particular example made sense to you, comma. You say correct in the phrase you wish to improve, hyphen, the program gives you a list of options to choose from, hyphen, and you pick the one you want, full stop. It's a simple system and it works well. Full stop. Now what happens if you want to use a word that the computer doesn't know, question mark? Well, the good news here is, is that you can type the word in, hyphen, and then train the computer to recognize it, full stop. Let me try a simple example from the world of gaming, full stop. There's a character in Borderlands 2 called the Gunzerker. Full stop. The program at the moment doesn't recognize Gunzerker. So let's see if we can fix that, full stop. Correct guns are 2. Spell that. Click train. Click go. Gunzerker. Click done. Let's see if the program recognizes Gunzerker now. Full stop. I hope you get the idea from what I just showed you, full stop. Correct, do shoji. Choose three. Let me show you some simple commands as well, full stop. Minimize window. Search the web for McDonald's. Click search. 
click McDonald's UK. Click Cancel. Click McDonald's UK. Click Back. Minimize window. Switch to WordPad. New paragraph. So I hope you get the idea full stop. Select that. Sent font size 20. Deselect that. Whilst it doesn't get everything right all the time, comma, and whilst, whilst you will have to do some training, hyphen, it really has sped up how quickly I can write full stop. If you've got any questions or ideas or suggestions, comma, let me know in the comments section below and I'll see if I can help full stop. Please check out the channel for the rest of my tutorials and videos. Full stop. And I'll see you soon. Full stop. Take care.